Well guys, Christmas is over, and I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year, but now 2021 is over, and it was a decent year, filled with good times and things we'll remember as time goes on. But hey, at least this year was better than 2020. It's 2022, and you know what that means. The year of Sonic is now finally here, and there's a lot to look forward to this year for our Lord and Savior, the Sonic, with Sonic Origins within the next coming months, and the Sonic Movie 2, and then we'll have Prime in the Fall, and then to end off the year, we'll have the one, the only legendary Frontiers! But that's not to say that Sonic didn't have a good 2021. We had quite a bit of Sonic last year. More than 2020, you know. Really, the beginning of the year was slow, you know, pretty much basic stuff, filled with leaks and rumors, and a lot of hype surrounding the 30th anniversary. Basic stuff. Pretty much like, you know, Zippo, and we started like saying, hmm, is this guy trustworthy? Zippo started leaking stuff like, basic stuff like pretty much like us getting a new 30th anniversary collection with the return of Sonic R and stuff like that. Sonic Pocket Adventure, even though that didn't end up happening, but then we had other leaks like Adventure Remakes were coming as well. And then that's when things started to get a tad bit crazy, and that was in January we had the announcement that Roger Craig Smith would no longer be voicing Sonic and that shook pretty much that shook a lot of people like everybody was disappointed about it well a few was um, very happy about that I'm not naming any names and then we had um, the voice actress of Amy leaving and then later on we have Warren and Graf Warren, Kim Pontac and Warren Graf um, pretty much they are gone. They announced that they were leaving the Sonic the Hedgehog. They were done writing the games, and I'm just gonna put this in the tamest way ever. Oh, heck yes! This is so awesome! Anyway, with that out of the way, that was a pretty decent 2021, even though it was sad that a lot of the voice cast was leaving, like Tail, like the voice actors for Tails, Kalino Shaughnessy, I think I pronounced your name right if I didn't, I'm sorry. Pretty much her announcing that she would not be voicing Sonic Prime. But Mike Pollock did confirm uh, later in February saying that he will be staying as Eggman. Which, oh, thank God, because they, they, they could not have touched Eggman. That would have been awful if they did. But the news didn't stop there. It was official that then later around in March, they announced Sonic Prime was officially announced. Like earlier in 2020, they like it was kind of accidentally leaked kind of officially on social media um saying that a new sonic netflix show is coming and apparently um it was confirmed that a new show sonic prime will be coming to netflix in 2022 to be specific this fall because it's 2022 in the recording of this video but the news also didn't stop there as well there was even the official trailer and announcement of the second sonic movie coming in april 8th 2022 exclusively in theaters and the, and just the confirmation of the Sonic movie and a brand new Sonic show coming that next year would just be so epic. And then we had nothing throughout that we thought we were going to be getting some game news in March for a South by Southwest panel. Unfortunately, that did not happen. But we didn't have to wait long for more leaks and stuff to come out because in April, a foreign website leaked Sega's newest project for the Blue Boy Sonic Colors Remastered. To be specific now, Sonic Colors Ultimate. And, um, also, a new collection was leaked as well on this foreign site. Seriously, how does Sega feel about these guys? They're probably not trusting them with their stuff now because they spoiled a lot of their surprises. But, yes, a new collection was leaked and also some sort of Team Sonic Racing 30th anniversary thing. I'm not sure what that was about. And I don't know. I mean, whatever. But we didn't have to wait too much longer for confirmation on what the Sonic Colors remaster meant because later in May we had Sonic Central confirming that Sonic Colors Ultimate was the title because there was leaks surrounding that Sonic Colors Ultimate was the thing and we wasn't sure but it was confirmed it was Sonic Colors Ultimate a remaster of the original Sonic Colors finally coming to modern consoles PS5 and well technically it didn't get a PS5 port it just got PS4 which was interesting but it got Xbox Series X and S Xbox One and Nintendo Switch and for some reason exclusively to Epic Game Store and that was interesting and a brand new Sonic collection was also announced featuring the return of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles finally returning and also um, the Christian Whitehead ports are finally coming to consoles and PC of Sonic 1, 2, and CD I mean I know that Sonic CD was on 
the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3, and it's already on Steam, but um, Sonic CD is now, and we can also play it on newer consoles, too, on a brand new Sonic collection. I can't wait for that. And it's also been confirmed that the game will be coming out before the movie, so sometime within the next coming months, even though we've not heard any news about that, so please, Sega, uh, give us something on that, please. Also, I forgot to mention, we had a confirmation of a brand new Sonic game, and... And pretty much it was confirmed that there was a brand new Sonic title in development, and what did the fans do? They went back to find leaks on the game. The game was leaked immediately after there was a, apparently, the game was leaked, and it was called Sonic Rangers. Boy, that was an interesting name you got there, Sega. But that turned out not to be the game. That was just a placeholder name for what it's called now, Sonic Frontiers. That's what we know it by now. And the game was leaked, saying, like, following leaks from back in, like, 2019, and 2020 pretty much saying, oh, hey, um, this is a uh, game. Like, pretty much, like, people were leaking the game back in, like, 2019, early 2020 because people t play tested the game. And pretty much us confirmed, pretty much seeing that it was a open world Sonic game. Which, honestly, that's okay. I mean, I love me a good open world Sonic game. We'll talk about Sonic Frontiers in another video. Stay tuned for that. And that was pretty much all we had for pretty much May, despite the fact more leaks kept coming out that kept adding up with the trailer. Then next month was June, which was Sonic's 30th anniversary uh, month, June 23rd, and the same day as the symphony, which I gotta say, oh my god, it was awesome. And I listen to that symphony on Spotify almost every day. Sega, I gotta tell you something right now. Thank you so much for releasing that um, symphony available for us to download. Thank you so much. And just thank you. And then later, September came out, and Sonic Colors Ultimate released. And... okay. It's hard not to mention the fact that this game did come out, and it got great reviews, don't get me wrong. But the game in its current state of release was not that good, to the point where, on the Switch version, there were the risk of seizures for crying out loud. Since then, they managed to patch things up, and the game is better now, but it suffers from little stuff, like some like fish in the background in an aquarium park kind of clipping out, which... They can easily fix it. I mean, recently they, I mean, recent, the most recent update, they added the ability for you to switch the music back to the original, which I gotta say, thank you so much, Sega, for that. I mean, I did a Let's Play of Sonic Colors Ultimate on the channel. Go check that out. I gave the game an 8.8 out of 10. I mean, I had a fun experience because I played on the PS5. I didn't run into that many glitches, but I got it for Switch, and it's, 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 uh, it's okay, I guess. It's not. It's. It still baffles me how it doesn't run that good on the Switch, but on the Wii it runs perfectly fine. I. I don't know. So if you don't have Sonic Colors Ultimate, go get it. And so that was kind of it for a little bit of while until December came around. Like news was a bit quiet because Sonic Colors Ultimate just released, and we was pretty much crunching and just trying to find anything we could find on Sonic Frontiers. But it didn't take until December around the Game Awards to happen. For us to finally get some news around Sonic Frontiers and also confirming that a brand new trailer for the Sonic Movie 2, the first official trailer of Sonic Movie 2 would be announced there and it was awesome freaking Knuckles! And then we also had also confirmation of Sonic Frontiers showing up there and I gotta say I was really excited about that to see the new game and I, it, the trailer did not disappoint. It did confirm that the game was open world. And it looks beautiful from what I gotta say. I'll, like I said, I'll do a video on Sonic Frontiers. Stay tuned for that in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe to not miss the video. But that was basically it for 2021. Other than a few crossovers with games like Two Point Hospital and Last Judgment and Monster Hunter, that was it. So now it's finally 2022. The year of Sonic is finally here. And we have a lot to look forward to, like Sonic Origins and the movie sequel that are coming soon. With Origins coming sometime, uh, Sega, when's Origins coming? You said that we were going to get some info in 2021, later in the year, around May, and, uh, it's 2022 now, now that I'm looking at my calendar, so, uh, is, uh, everything okay? Please, please, Sega, g give me something, a, r a release date, I, I need to know when I can have my Sonic 3 and Knuckles in widescreen on my PS5, please. Please. Anyway, that's it for 2021. Now it's 2022, and it's the year of Sonic. This year is going to be fun year for Sonic. I just know it. 2021 was a great year for Sonic the Hedgehog, and I know 2022 is going to be even better, and I can't wait. Thank you all for an amazing 2021, and hey, welcome to 2022. This is the first video of the year that I'm going to be posting on the channel, and I can't wait for you to see what I've got planned for this year. 
And I want to say something real quick. Uh, sorry that it took so long to uh, make a video because around like literally the day after Christmas, I was working on some videos, but then I got sick. And um, those videos, like I was doing like a face cam with those videos, and I looked awful in those videos. So yeah, um, I got sick around those when I was making a bunch of videos the day after Christmas, and um, I got I got I got really sick. But I'm all better now, and I'm back, and I'm better. So hey, if you don't want to miss any more of my content, I got a lot of videos planned. Make sure to hit that bell, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to not miss more of my content. Anyway, that's all I got for all of y'all. Peace out. Later.